Hello and welcome back to another How To Creator series. Uh, now in our last video, I showed you how to create this convert to lead button from the contacts to insert a record into the leads table. So what we're actually going to do here is what we noticed was when uh, we continue to hit this button, it continued to create uh, leads for the same contact and so we want to prevent that so that's what we're going to talk about doing today is adding some type of validation uh, on the click of a button to make sure that we don't continue to send over the same contact as a lead so let's just get right into it so what i did here was i added a hidden section which you'll currently see right now uh, but then we'll hide it at the end of this uh, just so you can see and what i did was i added a converted to lead which is just a decision box which is referred to as a boolean which will give you a true or false value checked true unchecked false um, so let's go ahead and put some validation on this so we can make sure that we no longer get any uh, duplicates. So first, let's go ahead and remove this one and we will delete it. Okay. And now we have nothing. We're nice and clean in here. And let's go back over here to our script. And so now what we're going to do, and I'm going to close out of this and reopen it just because I added that field there. So now what we want to do is we want to say when we do this and this is created, we'll go actually up at the top here, hit enter. We're going to add input and dot. And then we want to see, you see this right here, Boolean converted to lead. We want to select that. And then we want to say that this is going to equal true okay so for now let's just take this out so it doesn't convert any any leads right now while we're testing remember you can always comment that out by controlling forward slash um, and then update oh and I forgot a semicolon so update here and now let's just take a look here so what we'll also want to do is let's add that to the report so we can see it. Okay, so we'll just come out of here, we'll hit done, we'll update, and then we'll go here, and then we might
Apply. Okay, now we'll go back and uncomment our code from our button. 